Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today I want to talk about this book that I got. Really excited about it actually. It's called Structural Engineering Handbook. It is the fifth edition. I have the fourth edition somewhere. Uh, I think maybe I did a review of that one as well. The fourth edition is a book that came out more than like 20 years ago, 15 years ago. So it's a really good resource, but it's very outdated. And this one, it just came out this year. Mm, yeah, 2020, I think it came out like in April or something. And I remember I had it in my wish list and everything. And as soon as it came out, I got it. And I had been wanting to do a, like a quick, quick look or like a review of this book because I think it's a really cool resource, especially if you're into structural engineering or if you work on that. Now, what this, what this book is, is basically, like I said, it's like a handbook. It basically has a, like the concepts and like very commonly used things on the on site that you will do in your everyday design. And it has everything like from like, look, has structural loads, uh, fatigue, brittle, uh, cold form structural steel, aluminum members, masonry and timber. So it's a really comprehensive book. I mean, the lead is super small, so like, it has a lot of, of information. And I've been just reading it. I just got it not for any specific purpose, just because, you know, it's a good resource. And it has a lot of stuff, like, and I compare it about, uh, against the 14th edition, and this one has been updated to the latest schools, like I think IBC 2015, uh, the newest 710, uh, the newest NDS, the newest TMS, the newest TMS. So it's something that you can use in your everyday uh, design, and it's not even that expensive. It's probably like a hundred bucks. Uh, I, I will leave a link below if you wanna get this book. So I really recommend this book. It's a great resource, and like it's just it's just good in general. Like for example, like maybe you wanna learn about how to design. For structural engineering or like for structural fire engineering or like glass and glazing it has a lot of really really cool subjects that you will not see in in general engineering books i, I would say have bridge engineering timber structures or that you might need like a more like a set of books this one is maybe not as in-depth as like for example like a full geotechnical book but it has a, like a lot of the things that you will need in your day-to-day -day design so I really recommend this book if you're doing structural or if you're interested in doing that, just read it, read it and like go over it. And it has been useful for me. Like a lot of stuff or names for things that I don't know or like just um, concepts that you know, like maybe you, you, you know how to design it but you don't understand the concept. This book is a good resource to refresh that or to, you know, like to learn more. Really, really recommend it, 10 out of 10. One of the best engineering books for structure. Bye, guys.